Hey guys, it's President Mike. Um, I met at Starbucks, um, and this will take forever to upload, but um, I have time. Um, this is from this today. It's the last two tournaments that I played, basically the only two that were multi-table uh, tournaments. Um, I was on other sites, but um, there might be a situation where if I if I had run if I had started those I could have uh, missed um, the rally. Um, yeah. Gotta be in Brum in an hour. Well, the flight's an hour, but you better know. I um, what? Wait, hold up. The same two hands. This is okay. Yeah, this these are two different ones. This is the three thousand. Uh, I entered late here. I busted tenth here. Uh, we'll see what what happened. Uh, I mean, this doesn't really matter that much. Uh, this sample size, uh, but I always like to check how um, you know. But uh, usually, how, if I would study here, uh, I'd just go over these like hands at least. Some button. What happened? Why was I? You know, even the thirty-eight hands. Uh, there will be a lot of hands where you will see like some sort of, you know, very marginal or thin uh, spot and. Um, here too, like, um, I know exactly what, what hand, uh, this one is, uh, and, but then from EP, you ran pretty well, obviously these numbers will be elevated across, you know, two tournaments, one was uh, turbo, although we have to be tighter in a turbo, it was big AO, and I was chip leading, so, um, there's a lot of opening, um, so, uh, and being six-handed, Obviously, these numbers will be a bit skewed, uh, being short-handed and stuff like that. Uh, what, what I've recently noticed is I've been doing really well from big blind and small blind in general. Uh, it was a problem area for me, and I've gotten from uh, having them at negative 40 and negative 80 for small blind and big blind win rate to, um, I think it's like negative 20 and negative 36 over the last like 30k hands. And... Um, I was also trying to uh, filter for a stat for fold to river to bet. So like folding, so you bet and you get raised on the river. Um, so, um, uh, but only like only like three or four hundred hands came up after I opened like my entire data of like about eight hundred thousand hands, which so I, something wrong with the filter. Uh, but um, th that reminds me the river too bad um, someone in this tournament was uh, the chat was on you know some settings I have to change and the person said um, uh, like awesome three bet with ace was also it was just a nice one. I can only assume they're playing pay, they're watching too much attention to sorry cards um, stream because <laughs> that's the only other person who I've seen um, not understand what part of the game tree is on uh, <clears throat> so let's just start here okay it's a couple things though huh what's that uh, yeah, it's better. All right, so it's first hand. I mean, we don't have that many hands. Uh, yeah, pretty sure I folded, folded. Yeah, it's a standard fold. Yep, yep. Uh, this is fine, isolating. With the suited ace, we get uh, a pretty huge three bet. So this is a one bet. A limp is a bet. Like you know, that's why this is called a big bet. Posting the big bet or big blind, whatever. So this is a bet. We can call it call. This is you can call it ISO, but this is actually a two bet. Uh, and then this is a three bet in this situation. Uh, if he had opened and I. You know, popped it. 
uh, um, basically raised it. That would have been a three bet, just just to make sure that people don't you know uh, watch some sorry Kurd player and uh, just learn the wrong um, you know just basic pre flop stuff. Forget about post flop uh, and stuff like that. Um, so this would be called a two bet, but you can just call it an ISO. Um, but apparently that guy who was commenting was like, got crazy three bad with ace juice off. So it start 12 o'clock. It was actually like close to 12 o'clock where I was, but, um, now it's, let's say the evening now. Uh, and then this is a three bad in this situation. Uh, but we'll be isolating limpers with pretty wide range than this. I think over the last two months, I think I'm isolating uh limpers at like 35 percent um i think it should be more like 40 at least 45 uh i'm gonna have to check f you know usually you want to be in position but um yeah it's also deep and also doesn't have any anti so so that can almost make this a fold sometimes but not really not a suit today we're always gonna iso a limper um anyways Oh, sorry. Get a bunch of. Yeah, sometimes I'll just fold this. Especially again, like I didn't notice. I didn't have a um, hide and stuff. Uh, I just didn't notice. Even though it was just one tabling. Didn't notice that, you know, um, there was uh, main raises. And sometimes I'd fold this. Sometimes. I'm, I'm only completing here because it's um, suited. Otherwise, I wouldn't. I'm just gonna give it up. I don't think there's any point in uh, betting. How did 9-10 win? Huh? Oh, there's a 10. I thought this was a jack. Yeah. <clears throat> Too much. Um, so I don't know what's happening here. Um, we see this a lot. And uh, I think everyone's quite understand that like people will just the word turbo pko there's no anti's here it's just like uh sevens is like i'd fold nines here i'd fold i'd fold like tens uh, i don't know about jacks probably a fold and queens i just slam it in after he makes it this act this much uh his range is pretty weak so i don't know maybe 10 i, I wouldn't go as far low as like sevens or eights though um, cause when we have a seven or eight, we kind of block him from having like suited connectors, like nine, eight, uh, seven, eight, um, you know, weaker suited aces. So we don't want that. We don't want to block him from, you know, weak part of his range. Uh, okay. We get a bunch of limpers. Uh, I saw and get no respect. What is this? And this is a fold. Um, So here I just saw like there's this bunch of really, oh no, wait, is this, yeah, this is just a fold, my bad. I thought it was suited. Yep. Yep, 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 yep this is fine. People sometimes tend to like just, even with the seventh hand, they'll, they'll just see that, you know. Uh, we're still very much a part of the bounty, play, bounty prize pool as well as the main prize pool. Um, but some people just will like call off that sevens because you can re-enter and stuff like that. It's just not right. It's not you know good for uh, what you're developing is a habit. And yeah, in your bra brain you might be thinking it's because I am uh, you know I can re-enter. Uh, the thing is you're training your brain to uh, you know it it takes a little bit of self-control to like fold good hands and you might end up making that hand seem like that seventh hand when he opens that neck something to gamble with and like later in the game might struggle with like folding in a tough spot um and let's start off with part two uh, after that this queen's hand